Hey Oi, how's it going? It's Glass Half Full News and it's the first ever Wednesday episode. Uh, I'm pretty excited, so let's get cracking. The first thing I want to talk about is Ebola. Now I know this is not a very positive thing, but I think if we look at it in a different way, we could try and get some positive things out of it. For instance, people were helping from all over the world to try and fight Ebola and you could do the same as well mate if you want donate to like save the children uh, they're helping with it I've I give monthly anyway so I already do um, but you can do stuff like that um, but not just that let's have a look at what else kills people in Africa uh, in the same sort of time span and try and understand what's going on so basically um, sadly 4,000 people have died from Ebola since the outbreak um, in that same time, 625,000 people have died from AIDS and 320,000 people have died from malaria in the same time since Ebola came out. I mean, you can see it on the graph, look. Um, it's crazy. Uh, you can barely see Ebola, it's right down the bottom. So why is it getting reported as the new AIDS? There's a couple of things. One, some people, like Russell Brand says on his trues, which I know you watch, that it's because they're trying to control us with fear um, and also that their thing is negativity which is why we started this channel up after all to try and bring positive things so it could be that and it also could be that the fact that it's now affecting western countries but not very much you know more people die of cancer for instance so it's nothing to worry about over here anyway because it it basically thrives in africa because their medical centers are very sparse and limited with supplies uh, their hygiene's terrible and they have no access to clean water um, or very little so that's why it's spreading so well over here we've got great facilities clean water hot water there's not a great chance that it's going to um, spread over here i think the lady that did catch it over there helping come back she's cured now in the uk um, which so just goes to show that it can be it's it's not life-threatening so much to us and it shouldn't be for them so you know give if you can Let's move on to something a bit more positive and a bit higher. Um, this week there's been some negative news with space uh, stuff, like the rocket exploded that was supposed to take supplies to the space station, which I'm a bit annoyed about because the Archie telescope was one of the things I funded on Kickstarter and it's now exploded in a rocket. So that's a bit annoying. Um, although it wasn't all of it, it was just like the first prototype part of it and they were going to see how it worked in space. But never mind, they are just going to crack on with the next prototype and it's going to be released in 2015 on the next rocket and hopefully that one won't explode. But let's look at some positive stuff. Have you heard of the Rosetta Probe? Now the Rosetta Probe um, is at a comet called 67P and what it's going to do on the 12th of November is send a little lander down, it's going to land on it and um, basically take some samples and they're going to bring them back to Earth. This is just robots, bring it back to Earth. Scientists are going to study it and have a look and see what, what, what does the sort of material contain that this comet's made of. Now we know it's got ice because it's already shooting ice plumes out into the um, solar system because where it's getting closer to the sun now it heats up, expands and <laughs> out it goes. So that's crazy uh, and there's some awesome pictures of that which I'll link in the description for you to check out because it is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, hopefully we'll answer such questions like was water brought to Earth from comets and possibly life if they find organic matter. They may or may not find stuff frozen in the water. So that's pretty exciting. There was also another discovery and I don't know if you saw it. In Sweden, in Gothenburg, at a hospital university there, um, some researchers wanted to help out three young patients. I think they were about eight or nine. Uh, and basically what it was is they were missing their gastrointestinal tract vein to the liver, uh, which is pretty serious, I think. And um, so they needed one. And now what they do normally is they use these things called stem cells, which can change into any type of cell, and then they can grow a vein and then implant it. But how they usually get stem cells is from bone marrow, and it's quite an invasive and painful process, and it takes a month for the, uh, for the blood vessel to grow. But what they've done is they thought, well, it's because they're young children, we don't want them to go through that much pain and stress. So what they did is pretty magnificent. They actually took 25 milliliters of blood, which is about two teaspoons, and they got the stem cells from that. And they were like, oh, that works. Great news. We don't have to do it from bone marrow anymore. But not only that, when they grew the uh, blood vessel, it only took a week rather than four weeks. It actually sped it up. And it's because the blood has natural substances in it, which promote growth. Um, so that's great, and they also reckon that later on they'll be able, with more research, they'll be able to make that process even quicker. So in the future, you 
the, one of the um, doctors there, I think his name is Professor Holgerson, uh, basically he reckons in the future, his dream anyway, is that they'll be able to um, do entire organs. And I've seen before, I think it's a heart and a pair of lungs that have been done in this way by stem cells. Um, but if they can do it from blood now, that's great. And it will reduce the need for donors because obviously very little people actually say that they want to give stuff away. I have done it and you should do it too. I'll also post a link in the description and I might even put a little annotation here. Yeah, for you to sign away your stuff if you, hopefully you don't, but if you do get in some tragic accident, at least your stuff can go to someone who needs it. I'm looking forward to your vlog on Saturday, mate. Uh, with your camera, it's gonna look awesome. It was a bit rushed, because I've been in between gigs, like either side of Wednesday uh, this week, so I've uh, had to do it very quickly, but I hope it's good, and I, I'm looking forward to yours. So that's everything worth knowing. Stay positive and spread the love. See you later, mate.